Hi everyone, so welcome to another video. If you haven't read from the title, this is gonna be end of the year TBR book tag. I saw Rachel Catherine, I saw her video on this and I was really intrigued by it and I really want to give it a try. Plus it's also the end of the year and I just want to see what books I'm, I want to be reading. And I would like to share it to you guys too. Also another note is that I did not create this tag. The credits all go to the owners or owner. So the first question is, are there any books you need to finish by the end of the year? Yes, I do. I have the secret history by donna tart <laughs> i'm only in chapter one i'm taking things really slow but i'm gonna start chapter two after this week it's just so busy with plates i don't think i'll be able to finish it this year but i'm hoping to finish it this year but i don't know another set of books i would like to finish before the year ends is marilu's trilogy of the young elites i've already read the first book i haven't read the other two but i did reread legend trilogy this year and i just want to continue on rereading marie lu since i really do enjoy marie lu's writing if i can't tackle the rose society which is the second book and the midnight star which is the third book then i'd be happy to just finish the young elites question number two is do you have an autumnal or spring book to transition into the end of the year i'm from the philippines it's a tropical country we only have two seasons summer season or the rainy season i decided to pick a read that's perfect for the sunny weather or summer season and the rainy season for the summer season i pick up I, first off i finish number one and then i'll go to the second book and if i get my hands on the second book of the twisted love series then or the twisted series then i'll pick that out for the summertime and for the rainy category i picked normal people by sally rooney i've been on the internet for quite a while and we already know the concept of normal people we're following two college people and through their ups and downs and i guess it's really sad in my head, that's perfect for the rainy weather or season. And the third question is, is there a new release you're still waiting for? No, I don't, but I really don't. For next year, I'm so excited for Final Agreement. Is that the title? No, Final Offer. The third book in the Dreamland Billionaire series. It's Cal's story, and I'm so excited. It comes out January 31 next year, and... I'm so excited for the fourth question. What are three books you still want to read by the end of the year? I was planning to read works by Otessa Moshfei. I was thinking of making a reading vlog, reading Otessa Moshfei for the week or for the month, or basically just my journey reading Otessa Moshfei. I've only read My Year of Rest and Relaxation by Otessa, and you know, we everyone knows that book. It went viral on Bookstagram mostly, but it's also on Book Talk as well. And basically, it's just like the ultimate sad girl book. I think my rating was a three star for that. I'm not quite sure, but I see the appeal. And I really want to get my hands on La Bona, her new release. I can't break my book buying bad yet. I'm waiting for the right moment or like when my ban ends to get Love Bona because I really want to read that as well. So, so yeah. For the fifth question, is there a book you think could still shock you and become a favorite book of the year? I'm very, I don't know, I'm very vibey with my rating but I'm also very picky with what my favorites could be. A potential favorite book of the year, either Curse Bunny by Bora Chung, translated by Anton Her, or A Certain Hunger by Chelsea G. Summers. Both are unhinged books and I'm into that. They're dark. You know the vibe. I think there's gore body horror and all that stuff correct me if i'm wrong probably potential favorites of the year these are right up my alley this is my fave purchase of the year just letting you guys know <laughs> fun fact i guess okay so the last question which is number six but rachel catherine or rachel had two additional questions and i'll be adding that as well so okay for number six is have you already started making reading plans for 2023 and oh wow 2023 weird thing to say okay so for 2023 i guess my plan Plans are just rereading books like A Little Life. I really want to reread that. I want to reread Bunny again. I basically just want to reread my favorite books. Another plan I have is reading much more slowly because I feel myself rushing. Like I keep telling myself, like, Eric, no one's putting you in this situation. You can just read as slow as you want in whatever pace you're comfortable with. I feel like I'm pressuring myself. My goal is just to read more slow and really feel the entire book. But like if I read a book easily and like in one day, that's totally fine. That's, that's chill for me. And another reading plan is to read more classics and more dark academia books, more books that are in line in my genre that I love or like has potential that I would actually really love, like translated fiction. I love translated fiction. I want to read more of those, collect more of those. My recent reads were Winter and Sokcho and Heaven, which were 
amazing. I wrote a quick review or reaction in my bookstagram. You guys can check it out. And my current read at the moment is Life Ceremony by Sayaka Murata. I love Sayaka Murata. Her brain is just out of this world. It's like she knows something we don't, okay? <laughs> I fully believe that. As I mentioned, I want to reread A Little Life, put more tabs in, probably get another copy because my copy is like breaking down <laughs> and yeah more classics because i have a lot of classics that i keep buying but don't touch here i have like master margarita i really want to read this but i just i don't have it and i love my copy of it. it's just the red is so attractive yeah i want to read more more classics like crime punishment dracula camilla i'm even halfway through the broom of the system no no not really halfway kind of halfway this one's funny this one's entertaining it's just that some parts bore me but i think it's a me problem because i'm trying to rush it when it really i should just be taking my time you know me <laughs> I'm the problem. <laughs> Whatever Taylor said. Pride and Prejudice, I've been telling myself to get through this and I and I, I bought this early in the year and I still haven't read it. I'll probably read it next year where I'm in more in my classics era. I want to reread The Picture of Dorian Gray because I have a new copy, this really beautiful copy. I want to annotate it and just make it really pretty. Like how I made my secret history and we were villains. Just a bunch of annotations. You can take a sneak peek of my annotations in the secret history in my book talk and bookstagram. Moving on to the other stuff, the other extra questions by Rachel. She had um, a series that I would like to get into. Oh, a series I want to finish. Uh, none. I haven't been reading series. I mean, I do have Throttled, but I just started. I do have the Twisted series, but like I'm in my book buying ban and I want like, all the copies together, like physical copies, not just on my Kindle. And the last question is authors I want to try. I have a list. <laughs> I really want to start reading from Sally Rooney. I want to discover the Sally Rooney universe. I just want to know her, her characters, her world, her writing. Oh yeah, Atessa Moshfe. I only read one book from her and look at this. It's such a pretty cover. I just need to get to know her more and her craziness, unhingedness. Next is Celeste. I had a book from her before, but that was when I was in high school and the copy wasn't even mine. It was my sister's and I sold that book online <laughs> because I was like, I don't think I'm gonna be reading again. And lo and behold, pandemic made me love reading all over again. I really wanna give her a try. She has a new release, Our Missing Hearts, I think. And I just wanna read more of her books because I heard really good stuff. Oh, another author I really wanna try. Wait, is this for the year? I don't think I can try all of them this year. <laughs> Let's just mix it up. 2023 and maybe December of 2022. RF Kuang. She already has a special place in my heart. I haven't even read any of her works yet. I've been wanting to pick up the poppy wars. Yeah, I just wanna get into those authors and yeah. That's it for the end of the year TBR tag. I enjoyed myself a lot. And I hope you guys are interested in doing this too. Go give it a try. Like just something personal. You don't have to share it online. If you're not comfortable, then you don't have to make a video. You can just write stuff down. If you do want to make a video, that's cool. You can add me. And yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out. And if you're still here, thanks for listening. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. 